G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 35th episode of our Fulham Road to Glory career mode series here in FIFA 20. A massive, massive episode ahead of us. We have Sheffield United, Wolves, City, West Brom, maybe even the game against Everton, but we need to turn our goddamn season around. It has not been an ideal start to season number three. I wanted to make the push out of the relegation battle. I wanted to go a little bit further. At the moment, we are struggling to get results, but we'll see how we go in today's episode. If you do go on to enjoy it, however, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you are new around here. Also, I've got to make a comment. You guys are leaving some funny-ass things in the comment section down below. I'm actually really enjoying going into the comments after every video and seeing what stupid things you are saying. I remember... Someone, what did someone say on yesterday's episode? Oh, I remember I was raging at myself. I was like, Jared, wake up. And one of you guys time stamped it and goes, when Jared doesn't post a rebuild or a Fulham episode in a day, I was like, oh my, like I had a good laugh at that. Regardless, I wanted to praise you guys for that. Keep up the good humor. You guys will get your own Netflix special soon if you keep it up. But let's get into the episode. Just a quick little look at the table here. Like I said, it's still early in the season, but we find ourselves in 13th position on 10 points. We want to make the push for Europa League football this season, so this isn't an ideal start, but it could be worse. I mean, we could be Crystal Palace. A training session here as well. Charisma on the verge of a 70 rating. He manages to get up to a 70, which is good to see. The young players continuing to grow. But we're gonna jump straight into the gameplay here. At home, Sheffield United taking us on. This is the perfect opportunity to get our season back on track. I mean, we finished last episode with a win, so hopefully that provides us with some momentum. Here is a look at our starting 11 for today's game. Again, formation being experimented with. Rocking with the 3-4-3 formation. Richarlison, Meyer, Douglas Louise, and Kakache at the left midfield spot. Correa, Mitro, and Larson up front together. Very, very interested to see how this side plays. Now for a gander at the Sheffield United side. Mitch Langerak! Oh my god! They signed Mitch Langerak. He's an Australian goalkeeper. I don't even know why his face is scanned in the game. I mean, he's been playing in the, China, in the Japanese league, so I'm very surprised that Mitch Langerak is face scanned into the game. That green of Sheffield United is throwing me off a little bit regardless though. They're on the attack. McBurney going through there. Got to block it. Oh, what a clearance. Mason Holgate. Get rid of it though. It's still on here. Headed away. Headed away. Good stuff, Mavropanos. Here we go. Brun Larson. <laughs> going to Metro. Lucky bounce. Come on, Metro. Through Douglas Louise. Douglas Louise. Need to get past the defender. He's got the pace. Square it. No, we should have squared it to Correa. Come on, they got us on the back foot here. That's the thing I don't like about three at the back, is I find we're getting caught on the counter-attack too much. I might actually change up the formation after this, but we're going to stop this goal from going through here. They put it across the face of goals, and that's exactly what I didn't want happening. Yeah, I don't think the three of the back formations here to stay, because I just feel like we're getting picked off. In the games that we have rocked three at the back, I feel like we've been too vulnerable on the counter. God, quick equaliser would be nice. Correa... Going to go there. We've got Douglas Louise pushing forward. One, two. Douglas Louise. Quick equalizer, please. Hits it. There we go. Douglas Louise equalizing moments after conceding. And that is a beautiful finish from the Brazilian there. Nice link up play between him and Brun Larson. Let's look at this on the replay. It's a beautiful one, two. Textbook. And then a top bins finish that even the god himself, Mitchell Langerat, can't stop. Sheffield United, they're looking to get. A go-ahead goal early here in the second half. Mavropanos having to get to that one. We no, what? How's that one? Oh, good save, Henderson. How the hell did that one end up at that striker's foot, though? Come on, late. Come on. Last minute winner would be real nice. Mitro. <sighs> it's a crap ball. But it's still on here. It's gone straight back to Maya. Here we go, Mitro. Come on. Alexander Mitrovic shoots. Oh, save the follow-up. Larson. He's going to drag it back. Looking for somebody. I see Louise. I should have gone to bloody Douglas Louise. Well, that is certainly a little bit frustrating there. We had opportunities, to be fair. I feel like that probably was a fair result. But still, we need to be putting in better performances against Sheffield United. I know they're doing well in real life. But in FIFA, they're not that great. Oh, no. That's not what I want to see. Tom Canny, the king. King Canny. Captain Canny has come to us. I'm literally wearing a Tom Canny jersey from last season right now. He's considering his future here. 
if he decides to leave, I am going to be a sad man because I wanted Kearney to be at the club when we eventually win the Champions League, if we eventually win it, but I want, I, I, I'm not going to end the series until at least we win the Champions League, but I wanted Kearney to be a part of that. If he leaves, I'm going to be so sad. But anyways, we need to put that to the back of our mind because we have an extremely challenging game here. Going to give the three at the back formation another go. Traveling to the Molyneux to take on Wolves. Never an easy place to travel. Wolves always a very tough side. Interested to see what their side's looking like nowadays, but we take on Wolverhampton Wanderers. So this is the Wolves side. Rui Patricio, the man between the sticks. Doherty, Connor Cody, Willy Bolly. They've got a five at the back formation. Dendonka, Manuel Lanzini. They brought in Lanzini. Jota, Traore, and Jimenez. So not too different to the side they have in real life. Lemaire on the bench as well. And as I did mention in the load up screen, we are rolling with the three at the back formation again. Just gonna keep experimenting with it, see how we go, but it is gonna be the same starting 11 that we rocked against Sheffield United. We had our opportunities in that game, just didn't make the most of them. Come on, early goal would be nice here. Correa, looking for support, goes to Kikache. Kakache has a nosebleed, he's so high up in the field, but he's got the ball again! Oh, Liberato Kakache could have scored a banger. Got to defend now, though. Just jockeying with Maya. Vinegar going there, puts it through. Um, how? It always confuses me in this game how certain attackers get such good opportunities and such good looks on the goal side. What is our defense doing there? Holgate, mate. One. I see that run from Kikache. Go on. The Kiwi. Beautiful touch. Liberato. Kikache. Oh, you've got it. Oh, it's saved by Patricio. I thought he just scooped that one over the crossbar. Was it a great save? Yeah, that's a great save from the Portuguese keeper. Warner here. Let's get swung in. Mitro. Alexander Mitrovic. There it is. King Mitro. The Serbian king himself. I have to get the little bobblehead now. He's even wearing the same kit. It is me, Troll! Equalizing for us here. Start off the second half with a goal. That would be great. Here we go. We have the opportunity. Louise, he's good from this angle. Good touch. Green timed. What? How do you green time it from there and not find the back of the net? Bloody hell. Have we not gone ahead there? Jota, oh, that's a great run there from Dharma Traore. Mavropanos, so slow. Traore's in the box, we're going to go to Elvedi. Good tackle. Nah, what? What? Fuck off. You are shitting me. Traore? I thought we made the tackle there with Elvedi. What? I didn't see the replay of this. Did he get tackled and then, did we make the tackle and then, then he tackled off us? So he got the ball there, just can't get control, gets pushed over by Traore, pushed away. The man's a beast, a physical beast. Get there first. Ah, oh, fuck, I tried to meet them in the middle. Got to get back now with Elvedi because now it's Raul Jimenez on the attack. I'm just holding down sprint there. How are they so one-on-one? -on -one? Again, good save by Hendo, but our defense don't make, don't track those angled runs. Come on, we're running out of time. Let's get an equalizer. I'm getting pissed off by how bad we have been lately. But, Correa puts it in. Oh my god, what? That matchup confused so, me so much. I, I don't understand what just happened in that game. We've lost 2-1. I have a lot of questions, and honestly, not too many answers. <laughs> yeah, look, I'd say I'm surprised, but I'm really not. We have been absolute horse crap to kick off the season. The board have said our performance is being reviewed, and I'm not opposed to that. Honestly, we have had a bad start. Things need to get sorted really quickly for us. We do have our first monthly scouting update, however, for the class of 2021 in Germany. Do we have anybody? Oh, that guy looks all right. Let's sign him up straight away. Janser Lofrenzer looks all right. A few good players. Roth could be all right. So that's not too bad of a start there. We'll keep scouting the rest of these lads and see what comes up. But it is a massive challenge here. If we struggled against Sheffield United and Wolves, my God, I'm very concerned about what we're about to witness now. It's Man City at home. So Pep Guardiola's Manchester City traveling to the cottage here. A gloomy day. 
but hopefully it's not going to be a gloomy result. So here is our formation for this game. Again, I don't know, I feel like three of the back formations going to cost us in this one, but I'm continuing to experiment. Akgun joining us here, putting Richarlison up front, and I've put Brun Larsen in that left mid spot. Just got to keep experimenting. But for a look at Man City's side, what formation are they rocking? A 4-3-3, so that matches up pretty decently. Philippe Sandler are making their back line. They've brought in Jonas Hector. They've brought in Hakim Ziyech as well from Ajax. Bernardo Silva, Aguero, and Sterling up front. It is a very, very impressive side. Come on, lads. If we can get a goal early here, that would be fantastic. Correa going to Richarlison. Richarlison holding it up. Going back. Correa blocked. Follow-up blocked again. Sandler everywhere. Can't let De Bruyne get too much space. Sterling, Holgate not quick enough to keep up with him. Sterling's just burnt us for pace. I'm going to have to overcommit. And yep, bloody hell. I could see that coming a mile away, to be honest. When I had to overcommit onto Sterling using Elvedi, I knew that I was leaving Aguero one-on-one -on -one with uh, my Vrapanos, but... Again, I think that's the three at the... Yeah, I'm going to bin the three at the back formation off soon, I think. Especially, I'm going to change it up for this game, actually. So I've changed up our formation to a four at the back formation. Put Holgate at right centre back, or sorry, right back. But let's see how it goes for us here. Hakim Ziyech shoots it. Great save from Dean Henderson. Again, overcommitting too many players. Mavropanos covering. I've got Brun Larson playing left back, but I think I should be putting the Kakache there. I was about to say it's a crap ball, but now they go to Hakim Ziyech, and that's a banger of a finish there from the Moroccan. Hakim Ziyech has doubled Man City's lead. They're just a class above, man. Whenever I verse Man City, they just feel so much tougher than any other Premier League side. It's a, I can't get the fucking ball off them, honestly. They're just toying with us here. Yeah, go on. Cancelo. Yeah, the fucking right back. Bullshit scores that. Fuck off. Honestly. This team... I hate versing Man City. I think if I'm going to verse Man City in, in the future, I'm just going to simulate it. These dickheads piss me off. They're so good. Every time I bloody verse Man City, they absolutely mug us off. Mugged off again here. 3-0. I can't say I came into this game expecting us to win. But 3-0 and just a complete domination by Man City. We need to be better. Get the armband off Holgate. He's not a captain. We go from a team at the top of the league to the bottom of the league now. We verse West Bromwich Albion here away on a rainy day in the Midlands, traveling to the Hawthorns. We need a big result. Just like the last episode, we were absolutely dog crap to start off the entirety of the episode, but we got a win to finish the final game. I'm hoping for a similar result here. And I mean, looking at this side here, not the worst team in the world, but on comparison to Manchester City, there is no comparison. They got Boya Baston up front though, Charlie Austin on the bench. Now for a look at our side, I'm gonna give the three at the back formation one last chance, see if we can get it done against a side like West Brom, Rabi Matondo into the side, keeping Larson at left midfield. Then we've got Richarlison, Correa, and Mitrovic. But three at the back, you're on your last legs, your last chances. Brun Larson, nice ball to Mitro. He's got the strength to get in front of field. Holding it up nicely. I see that run from Rabi Matondo. We go! Oh, it's blocked! Bullshit! Come on, Alexander. Correa going to Richarlison, looking for support. A lot of West Brom jerseys. We go to Arnie Meyer. Meyer, nice ball to Mitrovic. Alexander Mitrovic taken down. That's a penalty. Show him the cheddar. Show him the red. It's a straight red there. Samfield sent off. We're going to get a penalty, and now we have the numerical advantage. We have missed so many penalties this season. I'm going to go straight up the guts here. Green time it. I'm a mug. I'm a fucking mug. Dive, dickhead. Dive. We suck at penalties, man. When we first Arsenal, they had 10 men and they just mugged us off. Uh, don't tell me it's going to happen again. Thankfully, Mavropan... Oh, fucking hell! Wake up, Jared! Thank God it's a bad shot, but I need to be smarter playing out the back. I'm so bad at that. They're on the attack again here, West Brom. Look at that. They've, you'd think they have the numer numerical advantage. Ferguson... Oh my... If that wasn't blocked by Elvedi, I think we go behind there. Charleston back healing it. Come on, lads. 15 minutes. If we get a nil-nil draw against fucking West Brom with 10 men, I might just resign as manager on the spot. Correa. Good run. Mitro. Mitro shoots. Oh, save. Follow up. Richarlison. Wake up, lads. Mitro wins the ball back. Correa. Rabi Matondo. 
Matondo back. Richarlison shoots. Oh, what a goal! Richarlison puts us in the lead here. In the closing moments, the flick up, the hit on the volley. You love to see it. Let's go. Come on. Second goal would be good. We just need to retain possession to be fair. We hold on to possession here and just wind the clock down. Look for the right opportunity. And the right opportunity has presented itself. Richarlison had the opportunity to put the icing on the cake. But there it is, lads. Finally, we get three points to our names as we take down West Brom. It was not comfortable. And honestly, I don't know, man. We just, we suck. We actually suck. We need to, I don't even know. What I, I can't even sugarcoat it anymore. I just suck at FIFA. So yeah, there it is. That's the end of the episode. We... Finish the episode virtually in the same spot that we began it. And that is a very mediocre 14th position. I mean, if we were in the relegation battle, I'd be content. But given I have such lofty ambitions for myself and for the club, that's not good enough. Thankfully, like I said last episode, we still have plenty of time to make things right. But the more episodes that go on and the more mediocre we are, the less I can use that excuse and the more it becomes dire. So episode 36, we better get our... Better get our ass into shape. But if you enjoyed seeing me lose my mind again, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. It's been Jared HD. I'm out. Peace.